Wow, this rain is crazy. Should have looked at yesterday's weather to plan better for today. Well, today we're going to talk about Jira reports. Help you look at the past, help plan better for today. So today we're going to talk about Jira reports. So what are Jira reports? So first of all, they are out of the box metrics for your Jira projects and your Jira teams. So keep in mind, they help you produce some visibility into the work so you can track it and understand you need to pivot, how can you improve and what areas are for improvement for your team. And so I want to mention we are in a team managed project. Very important here because there are more metrics out of the box with the enterprise or company managed. And remember, it's good to understand what metrics are kept automatically tracked within Jira so that the tools work for you. And so we're gonna take a look into the reports we have for the team managed. Some six basic ones. I'll give you my input too on each one of these and how I might use it. First one is the burn down report. And so you can see here, I selected a sprint. So there's a sprint burn down report. There's some filters here. You can do story points. You can do issue count, do your time. So there's different types of filters on here. This one right here is a burn up. Hey, so completed work in the, the green and you can see the red burn down of the story points. You should come down. I know this one I stopped the sprint early, but really the idea here is you're supposed to cross pass and again, meet each other at the opposite ends of this report on here. You can see here, there is the time that these things happened as well. It, things that are issues that reopened, different movement of the story. So really cool, really powerful. I really like that one. So that's a burn up report. Now there's a sprint burn down. And so this gray line, again, it's very similar to the last one, except the burn down of work is going down versus up. Again, it's more of a preference thing. Same thing here, you can select a sprint, you can select story points, issue count and time. And really here, again, you're looking at some other items, so incomplete issues, completed issues, scope changes. So I really like to look at the scope changes here, what was been added in, what's been removed, and also what are incomplete? Why do we not complete those user stories or there's issues, what's going on there. So again, it, it's a table for discussion, usually at the retrospective, these last two reports to kind of understand, hey, what's going on? Can we get better? Reducing volatility within the team on other commitments. I'm gonna go here at the next one that I use as well, which is a velocity report. How many story points is a team doing? But remember, it all comes down to commitment versus completed. For, you don't want to take absolute value story points and use that as a reward metric. We'll talk about another video, but really here, it's that committed to completed, what the team said they can do and what they actually completed. Important here, metric I use all the time, trying to get in a threshold 85% to maybe 115%, a threshold, making sure that we're not under committing, but we're not over committing either, and making sure we're normalizing and reducing the volatility of the team so we can predict when we're releasing new features. Here's a cumulative flow diagram and for, for Scrum, not really that used, but you can still take a look at it. Maybe there's some bottlenecks. You can see bigger areas, might be some bottlenecks. You can see a lot of in progress for some reason here. If using Kanban, you're gonna definitely use this report. And this one right here, you can again, you can check, you can down select different workflows. And also you can do times, last two weeks, you can do different dates. So really powerful. You're not gonna discuss a CFD, how this works, but just know you have it out of the box. At least in this video, explain in another video what how to use this with a Kanban team. These other two here are more related to CICD. So if you have your CICD tools integrated here, they'll have some metrics here. I do not have it at the moment but really cycle time and deployment frequency are important for those portions as well. And so this helps you 
again, make the tools work for you. You're paying for Jira, you're paying for Elastian Suite. You don't have to do things with Excel, you don't have the manual burn downs or you know, project files. You can just have it here out of the box. And it's something to keep in mind to making sure that you're scaling, you have multiple teams, reducing the manual work and put it on these tools that you're paying for is I think is really important. And so what I wanna hear from you are, what are your favorite reports on the, the team managed Jira reports? So please leave it in the comments below. I love to discuss what's your favorite. Again, my favorite, I would say, is the Velocity report. But what's your favorite? Curious to hear, we can discuss. Now that you watched the video, you know about reports, Jira metrics that are created out of the box. You can make it rain in business value with your organization. Like always, stay agile-ish.